The Tusa Tuthus or the Giant Squid is one of the most intimidating teams in Ark Survival Evolved. In this guide I'm going to teach you everything that you need to know and show you how easy it can be to tame one. Tusas are found on all maps with an ocean biome. They are found in the very deepest parts of the ocean. In fact, they dislike shallow waters and will often lose aggro on you when you swim up to the shallower areas of the ocean. In the deep water, they have a very high aggro range and will seek you out quickly. Some of the best spots to find Tusos are on the map Ragnarok, around the area of the artifact of the Devourer. You'll find an open area that's full of shipwrecks, and there is lots of Tuso spawns in this area. So many Tuso spawns that it can get a little dangerous, but you are guaranteed to find some there. Another great spot is on Crystal Isles near Eldridge Isles in the northeast corner of the map. In the deep water there, you'll find many Tusos as well as Mosses. On the map Crystal Isles, you'll also find some Tuso spawns in the shallow beaches in the Redwoods and in the southwest corner of the map. The taming mechanic for the Tuso Tuthus is that it is a passive tame. In order to be able to passively feed the Tuso, you need to have it grab a creature or one of your teams. While it has your team in its tentacles, you swim up and approach the beak and then you can feed it its taming food. And it has to grab one of your teams. If you approach the beak without a team in its tentacles, you get an error message that says Tuso doesn't want to be tamed right now. Just like all other passive teams, there is a timing interval between feeds. For the Tusos, it's quite long, and if you try too soon, you'll get the message, wait until it's hungry again. The ideal taming food for a Tuso is Black Pearl, and the Black Pearls must be fed in a stack of 50. Black Pearls give the most taming effectiveness. You can use Cook Prime meat, but the effectiveness is so low that it's not worth your time. So where this guide differs and why I labeled it Easy Tame is in the tame that I recommend the Tusos grab. In the traditional lineup of teams that are recommended to use for a Tuso, I've seen things like Moses and Dunks. These traditionally are not easy teams on their own to get. Megalodons can be an okay option, but you need to pump the health and have a decent saddle. I have seen some PvP players tame a squid with a dolphin, but these things are really squishy on health, so I wouldn't recommend. The most commonly recommended team is the Carbonemus, the turtle, and this is for great reason. They're tanky and could take a lot of damage. Where my guide differs is that I recommend using a Maywing. The reason I recommend a Maywing so highly is that they are a great early game team. They are easy to knock out and easy to team up with some mutton. They are found on three maps, Genesis 2, Lost Island, and on Fjordal with lots of them in the Asgard realm. Where I find the Maywing's advantage over the Carbonemus is in fact in the speed. Carbonemus are very slow swimmers. During the taming process, the Tuso will let go of your team. It's important to have your team following you so it can get away from the Tuso. Turtles swim quite slowly. If you're lucky, the turtle will make it above the grab depth of the Tuso. Because the turtles are too slow, they are often at risk of getting grabbed a second time by the Tuso. And this often causes massive amounts of damage and often results in the death of your team. If your Carbonemus is able to make a getaway, it is often incredibly injured and not ready to go a second round with the squid. Many players will often bring extra Carbies for the next grab and feed round. Maywings, on the other hand, are one of the fastest swimmers in the game. This means they're more likely to make a perfect getaway. Make sure the Maywing you are using has some levels put into it. This one has been leveled to around 5,000 health. I am using a primitive saddle, but if you have a better saddle, that allows you to take less damage from the Tuso. Keep an eye out for other threats, but the Maywing speed allows you to get away from them easily. Once you have found the Tuso that you want to team, it's time for action. In this case, there are multiple Tusos in the area, and I only want the aggro of this one. If there's more than one in the area, you can get grabbed multiple times and things will go very wrong very quickly. So I'm going to swim up and take a very brave nip at it and drag it away from the other. Once you've dragged it away, just wait patiently and let the Tuso grab you. Make sure your black pearls are in your zero slot on your hotbar. Once it has you in the tentacles, dismount and swim up, approach the beak and feed it the black pearls. Make sure your Maywing is on follow and swim straight up. That way you're more likely to get the squid to de-aggro on you. Now you have to patiently watch as your Maywing gets beaten up by the Tuso. I always keep a melee weapon in hand in case any anglerfish or sharks swim up and surprise you in the area. The Maywing was on follow so look how quickly it gets back to you. Mount it as quickly as you can and make a getaway. 
you can see that our health is quite low. It's also important to note that the Tuso Toothless Tentacle Crab also does torpor damage, so keep an eye on that. Keep heading to the surface and once you are out of the water, you can spring and glide away on your Maywing safely back to land. I have a little taming island here with everything I'll need to complete the tame. Now is where I recommend you start a timer on your phone because there is a very long gap between the feeding interval. I always double check on the website or app Dodo Dex. You can see here for this 135 with one times taming speed, we will need three feeds and there is approximately 13 to 14 minutes for the first interval feed. So while I am waiting for the next feed to become available, I use this time to heal up the Maywing. You can either use a Snow Owl or you can use a Daedon, whatever you have available to you. If you don't have either of those, you can force feed it me. It is also important to turn on your taming tracker so you can see how far along you are in the team and keep your eye on the squid's location. Probably noticed I had some sanguine elixir in my inventory. Unfortunately, you cannot use this with taming a Tuso because you cannot eat or drink underwater. After you've waited some time between intervals, it's time to get ready for the next part of the team. I always grab another 50 stack of black pearls from a box. Carrying the total amount can be very heavy. Put that in your inventory and make sure it is again in your zero slot. Do not forget to equip all your scuba gear again. Whistle follow on your Maywing, mount, and it's time to dive back into the water. Travel along to where the taming tracker says the Tusa will be, and we can see it right here. We're gonna approach cautiously and look for other threats in the area. Don't see any, so we're going to swim up to the Tuso. It's grabbed us again. Swim up and we can get that second feed in. Then it is the same process of having your Maywing come back to you. You mount it and then head back to your Taming Island area and repeat the same processes. Step one, set your timer, then heal up the Maywing. When the timer's almost done, grab another 50 stack of black pearls, put your scuba back on and head over to the Tuso. When you get there, just make sure that your Maywing is on follow and then you can approach the squid. We need to be careful here. There is another squid lurking in the background and the squid has grabbed us. We're going to head up to the beak, put our last feed and that is it. We have tamed a Tuso. It's really not as scary as you think. I usually jump back on the Maywing and swim straight up. The Tuso will automatically be following you and when it is safe to do so, you can pop it in a cryopod. If you have appreciated the tips so far, please consider subbing to the channel. It helps me grow and it's free and I've got more tips in coming. Another option for those who are terrified of the Ark Ocean, in particular swimming in very deep water, would be to use a Bacillosaurus and an extra team as well. Bacillosauruses actually cannot be grabbed by a squid. They do take damage in the deeper oceans due to the crush depth, but the damage is minimal and they can survive because they're pretty tanky. Unlike a Maywing on its own, they're very good at clearing the area of threats. In this case, you'll be riding the Bacillosaurus. You then throw out a potted team. You could either use the turtle or my preference, the Maywing. Ride your Bacillo and then have your Maywing following the Bacillosaurus. This to work, you need to have your Maywing on follow. I set the distance to high or highest. That puts some distance between you and allows an easier grab from the Tuso. Squids are hyper aggressive, so it should come over to you. Try and make sure that it goes for the Maywing and not you. It's got the Maywing here. You can swim over, approach the Tuso's beak. Eat at the black pearls and then swim it back over to the basil. You'll be safe here, the squid can't grab you and head up to the shallow waters and the maywing is following. And you just repeat this process for the next feeds. I'm going to use a carbonemus for the second one. We are approaching the squid with our turtle. Try and dodge it with the basil. It's grabbed our turtle. Get that feed in. It can feel a little safer than just swimming alone in the ocean, but it does require an extra team. And if you need help taming a basil, I have a guide on how to do that too. An additional advantage to using the Bacillosaurus to assist you is that it can take down squids itself. So here we have a complicated situation of another squid hanging out with the one that we wanted to tame. We have two feeds in already. And if we try and feed it again, we're going to get killed by this one. So we can kill this quite easily with a good basil. One thing to note is that 
the squid you are teaming, if it does take damage, it doesn't lose any effectiveness if it gets hurt. This is one of the few teams where this allows this to happen. They will ink when they're close to death. Watch that because it will drain your player stamina. With the other squid gone, we can focus on completing our team. So it's got the turtle bin and give it the final feed. And that is it, Tuso is tamed. As I said, this one is a little bit more involved, but if you are terrified of swimming alone in the ocean, this is a great option. Thank you so much for watching. Check out some of my other easy tame guides right here.